Back in high school on a lark, I took a journalism class, and I can't say that I really expected to do anything with that afterwards, but I have to say, I have been enjoying making the videos that are just reporting on general game maker news, and you all seem to like watching them, so here we are, I guess. Hello all the crazy people out there, my name is Michael, I like wizards and dragons and making games, and over the course of the past few months, uh, YoYo Games has been adding more and more various projects to their uh, GitHub repository organization on, um, well, on GitHub. I suspect a lot of you are familiar with this already. I want to get the word out on this anyway because there are quite a few uh, really cool things in here. And while I doubt anybody is going to be interested in everything in this organization, I think there's a pretty good chance that most people are going to have something that they find interesting in here. I won't get too deep into any one of the individual sections in here, but let's start off with probably the, uh, the bit that most people are familiar with and the bit that kind of kickstarted this whole uh, Game Maker GitHub renaissance. And that is going to be the HTML5 runner uh, becoming open source. This happened, I want to say, about at the end of last year. And this is basically what you think it is. This is the HTML5 export target of Game Maker, and both the runner itself and the, uh, the compiler for it has been made open source. So there are a few reasons that you might be excited for this. One is because the Game Maker HTML5 export target has been notoriously broken over the years, pretty much since it came out. And now, uh, if you find a bug in it, especially if it's just like a silly bug, like some math function not returning the correct value or rounding the wrong way or something like that, then if you are so inclined, uh, you can clone the HTML5 Game Maker repository, you can fix the bug yourself, and you can submit a pull request to just have that bug fixed, and hopefully, um, in a reasonable amount of time, someone at YoYo Games will look at that and merge it back into the official, like, you know, runner. And uh, there are also instructions for how you can use your own uh, fork or uh, git clone of the, uh, the HTML5 runner yourself down here. Again, I don't want to spend too much time in any one of these repositories. Another reason that some might find this exciting is that if you were to go into, for example, the pull requests, tab over here to see a uh, pull request that other people have uh, made for the HTML5 export. Uh, sometimes if you, um, if you look through the pull requests that have already been merged, uh, you can sometimes see a bit of a sneak preview on things that are going to be coming in to the rest of the, uh, to the, rest of the engine. So for example here, uh, this one three weeks ago, Patrick Crafe uh, merged in the uh, mouse lock API and I believe this will be in reference to the window set mouse locked, window get mouse locked, window mouse get delta x, and window mouse get dy uh, functions for native mouse locking game maker. And a few pages ago, uh, this appeared in the regular uh, game maker betas. So this appeared in the Windows uh, runner, this appeared in the um, Mac, Linux, uh, Opera GX game maker runners. And if you're in the habit of just keeping an eye on the pull requests that come in and get merged, in the Game Maker HTML5 repository, you can sometimes see a bit of a sneak preview of things that are going to show up in the near future in the rest of the engine. Uh, this is another one, so add a GPU, get depth, GPU set depth. This one appears to have not been merged. I don't know why this has not been merged into the, um, into the main branch, but this is another thing that appeared in a Game Maker beta for the like non-HTML5 um, target platforms a little while ago, and it was a uh, you can see it was originally being worked on by uh, the one and only Yellow Afterlife about a month ago. And the same thing goes for uh, just like generally if you, if you hunt through the commits, but it's probably going to be easier to, um, to find things that you're looking for if you just look through the list of merged pull requests uh, for interesting things. And then wrapping up the talk of the HTML5 uh, repository, um, if you're curious about how different functions in GameMaker are implemented internally. Um, you can actually go look through the HTML5 source yourself and see if you can like find the exact code that makes like the MP grid functions work or the like the tile map functions work or that kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to do that now. Do bear in mind that the HTML5 JavaScript runner is rather different from uh, the way that the Windows or Linux or Opera GX runners are implemented. So looking at the HTML5 implementation for certain functions won't necessarily be um, indicative of how they're implemented on the other platforms. And lastly, they're open sourcing one of the Game Maker runners. I know that you all like open source. Should be a reason enough for many of you to be interested in this whole thing. So some other things that you can find in the Game Maker 
GitHub organization. Probably the other big item, I would say, is going to be the feature request repository. Uh, this isn't really a repository, so to say. There's not really any, like, code in here of interest. But this is, starting about a month ago, where you would go to file feature requests if there's something that you'd like to see in GameMaker. Uh, this is a much easier process to use than the old uh, feature request form on the help desk, which, let's be honest, wasn't great. So if there's something you'd like to see added to the engine, you can go uh, to the Issues tab and click New Issues, and you can, um, you can click on the New Feature Request button, and there's going to be a form that you can fill out. I'm not going to do this right now. I don't have anything that comes to mind off the top of my head that I'd like to see added to the engine. But that's only half the fun, because you can also see feature requests that other people have filed, and uh, you can vote on them, and you can comment on them. And you can look through the list of feature requests, and if you find one that's interesting, uh, you can read through the request. Uh, you can react to it with one of these reactions if you'd like. You can read other comments that people have left on it, and you can comment yourself if you are so inclined. So in my mind, not only is it interesting to be able to talk to other game maker users about their feature requests, but also um, this gives YoYo Games a somewhat easier way to figure out what to prioritize in terms of new feature additions. If they see a request that has more upvotes or has more conversation going on around it, uh, then they'll be more likely to give that uh, feature request consideration over something that has just like, you know, a couple thumbs down and no comments on it. And on, that, uh, on the subject of that, you can also sort feature requests, because there are over a thousand of them in here. You can sort feature requests for things such as newest, oldest. Um, a lot of the older ones have been migrated from the old uh, feature request database by, uh, by a couple of the Game Maker employees. Uh, you can sort by most commented, see which... Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised this has generated the most conversation. Uh, you can sort the request by most commented, you can sort the request by... Um, uh, most reactions. I'm not surprised that has 35 upvotes either. And you can also uh, you can also filter by which ones have already been closed. And some of them have been closed because they're like duplicate feature requests or because um, they've already been like decided against. And some of them may have been closed because, uh, for example, they've already been implemented. So related to this, if you want to see more about the status of Game Maker. Um, you can go to the, uh, the Projects tab over here in the Feature Request Repository. Uh, you can also go to the main uh, Game Maker organization, and up here there is a uh, Projects tab which has, um, has been linked to, to that repository. And you can see the list of feature requests, and this is a, um, basically the project management board that YoYo Games themselves are now using to like, sort and organize this. And you can filter the, uh, the different feature requests through other means. And if we go back, uh, we, c we also have the Game Maker Roadmap. So uh, for a long time, Game Maker's Roadmap was just a page on their website. But starting approximately now, the, uh, the Roadmap of Upcoming Features uh, can be found on the, on the GitHub organization. And we can see that in, for example, June 2023 update, we started to see SDF font enabling in the IDE. Uh, I believe that was when the uh, parametric equalizer audio effect was, uh, was added. I haven't actually messed with that myself yet. We can see things that are going to be coming in the August of 2023 uh, update. So things such as the compressor audio effect, uh, typed references, um, SDF fonts and sequences. I have not touched sequences since like May of 2020, when I first got my hands on the beta, so I have no idea what that's like. Um, a handful of other things. Uh, in October, uh, we are due to see some uh, some more uh, features for typed references. Uh, the Game Maker Package Manager, that's going to be fun. Uh, vertex Buffer Update Functions, I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, to nobody's surprise, Patrick Crafe has been assigned to that task. And you can um, 
you can look further and further into the future. So that's the Game Maker roadmap. Uh, those two are probably the main items of interest in the YoYo -Yo Games GitHub organization. Uh, we also have the source code for a bunch of extensions. So for example, the, uh, the Steamworks extension has been, um, has been put on the GitHub. And you can build the Steamworks extension yourself. You can acquire the uh, current version of the like pre-built uh, Game Maker Steamworks extension. Uh, there's a handful of other extensions. Uh, there is the mod.io extension. I haven't looked at this myself yet, so I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, GDK, so that's for Xbox Live, and I think some, like, uh, we're pretending that people actually use the Microsoft Store. That's adorable. Anyway, the GDK extension can be found over here. Uh, we also have the Game Maker Test Framework. This is a relatively recent addition. So this is the set of, like, test test projects that YoYo -Yo Games will use uh, when they like add new features to see if anything breaks. Um, we have ourselves a um, handful of uh, test suites, uh, which you can look at. If you're into unit testing, uh, you know exactly what this is. Again, I don't want to spend too much time uh, detailing this, but um, things like this, sometimes Game Maker will add new features, and sometimes uh, they will break existing features. So if you are interested in um, if you are interested in working with them to improve their test framework, it is now possible to do that. It's definitely always a little bit embarrassing when Game Maker adds a new feature and then, like, for several updates, uh, something else randomly stops working because of that. All right. Um, farther down at the bottom, uh, there's a uh, come on. Further down at the bottom, there's also uh, translations for the IDE and I believe manual for different languages. These don't appear to have been updated in quite a long time. I don't know if there's plans to come back to doing that. I don't know if there's plans to like come up with a better way to uh, crowdsource IDE translations. Some of the IDE translations in Game Maker are famously bad. I sadly can only speak the language of English so I can't cite any first-hand knowledge on this but like pretty much anyone I've ever met who can read Chinese has just laid on me all sorts of horror stories about how bad the Chinese IDE translations are. So I don't know if, uh, if there's plans to get back to the uh, localization repositories or to implement a better way of crowdsourcing translations. It would be really nice if there was. Anyway, I suppose that does bring me to the point of new stuff does appear in this GitHub organization, maybe not constantly, but YoYo Games has been gradually adding more and more to it. So if you're watching this video far in the future after today's date, then there's a decent chance that there will be other cool things in the GitHub organization that are not here available for me now. So I know that there is one question that's going to appear in the comments, probably multiple times, and I'd just like to answer that now. And that is, will the current Windows runner be showing up in this organization as an open source project the same way the HTML5 runner has? And look, I'm not going to say it's impossible. I wouldn't count on it especially not anytime soon. Uh, the HTML5 runner is kind of in the process of being retired in favor of the WebAssembly runner, which is for now just Opera GX and has been suggested that um, at some point in the future that'll just become the web runner that you can use outside of Opera GX. I have wondered if when the new runtime comes out and when uh, the current Windows runtime basically stops getting updates, if that'll appear on here. At this point in time, we really don't know when, but at some point in the next few years, the current Windows runtime and the current everything else runner, those will likewise be retired. And at that point, I wouldn't be surprised if they do show up in here. But if that does ever happen, that'll be quite a ways off. I would also likewise not expect the new runtime to show up in here any day soon. That is kind of the whole product that the company is selling. I'm sure that you all will have opinions about that in the comments. Anyway. That's all I wanted to show today. This is Game Maker's official GitHub organization. I will have a link to it down in the video description. I know this wasn't a tutorial in any sense, but I do hope this is something that you get some value out of. And I will see you all later. Special thanks to Zenjamin, Vitro V, Square Crow, Syndra Larson, Manta Ray, Game Maker, Edward Holt, DJ Gibbles, and Army Armbuster for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.